Esau and Jacob, the trouble with twins. Genesis 25:24. When the time came for her to give birth, there were twin boys in her womb. Now Isaac loved the Lord and grew to be a great man of God. At age 40, he married a woman named Rebekah. Like Abraham and Sarah, they prayed that God would bless them with a child. When Isaac was 60 years old, the Lord answered their prayers with a double blessing. Rebekah was going to have twins. Even before the babies were born, Rebekah felt them kicking and fighting each other. Why is this happening? The Lord answered and said, Two nations are inside of you, and the two will be separated. One will be stronger than the other. The older brother will serve the younger. On the day of their birth, Esau, the firstborn, was red and hairy. Jacob was fair and smooth and followed with his hand grasping Esau's heel. Just as Rebekah had been told, the two boys were very different. Esau grew up to be a very skillful hunter, while Jacob liked to stay close to home. One day, Esau came home weary and tired from a long day's hunt. Jacob had just finished cooking some tasty stew. Esau was very hungry when he said, Jacob, let me have some of your stew. First, sell me your birthright. This meant that Jacob, the secondborn, would have all the special honors given to the firstborn. Again, Jacob said, Give me your birthright, and I will give you food. Esau, being so tired and with the smell of Jacob's stew tempting him, replied, I'm about to die anyway. What good is a birthright if you're dead of hunger? You can have it! Now give me some stew. Swear to me first. So Esau swore before the Lord and gave Jacob his birthright. How foolish he was to sell his birthright for so little. Many years passed, and their father Isaac became very old and blind. Fearing he might die soon, he called for Esau and said, Take your bow and arrow to the country, and bring back some wild game. Prepare a meal just the way I like it and bring it to me. Then, I will give you my blessing. When Rebekah heard what Isaac had said to Esau, she called for Jacob. She told Jacob she had a plan to trick Isaac, so that he would be the one to take the food to Isaac and receive the blessing. Jacob was concerned Isaac would know. He said to his mother, Esau is hairy, and I am not. What if father touches me and finds out I am not Esau? What if he curses me instead of blesses me? The curse will be upon me. Now do as I tell you. Then Jacob, dressed in Esau's clothes and with his hands covered with goatskins, took the meal into his father's room. The Lord God has given me a successful hunt. Rise and eat and give me your blessing. Come close so I may touch you to know if you are really Esau. When Isaac touched the hairy goatskin hands and smelled Esau's clothes, he blessed him, saying, May all people bless and serve you. May nations bow down to you. Now Jacob had taken Esau's birthright and blessing. Just as Jacob left his father's room, in came Esau, with the tasty meal he had prepared for his father. Rise and eat, and give me your blessing. Who are you? I am your firstborn son, Esau! Isaac trembled. Who was it then that brought me food and received my blessing? For he will be blessed indeed. When Esau heard his father's words, he cried, Bless me too, father! Bless me too! Isaac raised his head and said, Your brother has deceived me. He has taken your blessing, and I have made him lord over you and all his relatives. I can give you nothing. 
Esau hated Jacob and said to all, The day is coming when I will kill Jacob. Ephesians 5 Live as children of the light.